Begin with more breaking details from that fiery tanker crash we've been covering since 630 this morning. The crash happened then on Route 220 northbound near Fincastle. Storm Team 10 meteorologist Beverly Perry was first on the scene and we saw flames rising above the trees and thick black smoke. The tanker was carrying more than 8,000 gallons of fuel which sparked the fire. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas is there now. She joins us live. Rachel, what have you learned? Well, most of that fuel was spilled onto the area way, and that's really where we saw those massive flames from this morning. Now, when fire crews arrived, they really had no other option than to contain what they could and let the rest burn off. And when our crews arrived this morning, they saw massive flames. And I want to show you now some of the video that they took from the scene this morning. Now, the crash happened just before 630 this morning here behind me. Now, the driver was able to escape without being hurt. He told police that he swerved to miss hitting a deer and that is why he crashed. Virginia State Police have charged him with reckless driving. Emergency crews in VDOT are still on the scene here because there was a lot of damage that was done to the roadway. Much of that fuel spilled into a pipe which superheated and caused a culvert to collapse under the northbound side of the road. Now a large amount of that fuel also spilled into Catawba Creek and fire officials are asking anyone who lives or has livestock along the tributary of Catawba Creek to not not allow livestock to drink from the water until officials have confirmed that it is safe to do so. Now I want to bring you back to the scene now and what it looks like now. Those massive flames that we saw earlier this morning have since burned out, but crews are still here assessing the damage to that culvert. Now they have told us this road closure is going to be shut down for quite a while because of that culvert collapse, perhaps even weeks. We are still waiting on an official estimate from VDOT. Thankfully, no homes were damaged in the fire here this morning, but drivers are going to need to avoid this area. They do have detours set up, but especially because of the snow, that's just adding more hazard this morning. But we are going to continue to keep you updated with the latest. Live in Botetourt, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.